In this episode, I accidentally summon some evil spirits, my car breaks down, the cats take over my couch, and Tom goes down a waterfall. The East Coast. Incredible people, gnarly terrain, unforgettable memories. I help you, you help me? Yeah, we can. That's why Adam likes to do dirt bikes. My journey on the East Coast wouldn't have been the same if I didn't meet Ryan and Anna. They put up with me for a couple of months while I crashed at their place so that I could be closer to the East Coast races. After our hike, it was obvious that the cats did not want to put up with me anymore as they took over the couch that I've been sleeping on. I guess it's time for me to head back home to Colorado. That is gonna be a big fire. Well, that's a big fire. We set a fire of all the cardboard we've been collecting over the past couple months. And to me, this signified a rebirth, a new beginning. I got back to Colorado and it wasn't long before I found another couple to latch on to. Anita and Tom. Hello. Welcome to our, our box. <laughs> They filled me up with some delicious, authentic Polish food, and I felt an immediate connection. So this is so this is our home. Uh, we've been living in it for over a year and a half. We also have a YouTube channel. Yeah, it's Anita Wu, A N I T A W U. We share our adventures. Well, if you want to see some cool adventures, I encourage you to check out her channel and subscribe. Anita showed me a bit of the bus and it is badass. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a full tour. Tom was riding out here solo and he found a trail that he was fixated on but didn't want to ride alone. Anita was convinced that a higher power brought me out to them so that I could take Tom out on this trail. If they knew what went down for me earlier in the week, they probably would have thought twice. I don't know if this will ever get old. Day number one back in Colorado. I had a bit of an intimate encounter with the tree. Whoa. Hey tree. I didn't think much of this and kept on going. Oh, oh that hurt. Day number two, mountain biking with John and Cat. The uphill. Callie's expertise. My master <laughs> broke. Coincidence? Uh. Maybe. Day number three. This is where I began wondering if there's something in that smoke from the bonfire in Pennsylvania. Driving up to Gypsum, my car started making some funky noises. I think my car is toast. I don't think I'm gonna be riding today. You know what, no, I'll come to snatch you up. Skip is awesome. Skip is coming out to rescue me. <laughs> oh, this makes me happy. You wanna buy a van? Are you selling a van? This one's for sale. It's common knowledge that bad things come in threes. So I felt confident I was in the green. I met up with some friends to get my hard enduro fix. We're Pendros. Crawling through rocks. Crawling through rocks. It's getting dark. And uh, Eric, do you have a headlight? I do not. And I don't have a headlight either. <laughs> we gotta try to get out. Sure, there is something at stake to spice things up. But we got out before it got dark, so things are back to the norm. So how does this all relate to the trail ride with Tom? Was this a bad idea? Maybe. Maybe. Well, I wasn't expecting for us to come back to camp together on one bike Shema. in the dark. <laughs> well, Tom's wish came true and he has somebody to ride with. I have a near miss. He has a near miss. I think we're even Steven. 
Raz jestem trochę spięty, Aha. bo się stresuję. Okay. A dwa, że wiesz, ja nie jestem taki super zajebisty, więc więc wiesz o co chodzi. Żeby... No. In my head I thought that if we could get through some of this harder stuff, maybe I would show Tom some of the trails that are a little bit more scenic. Pojedziemy troszkę tędy. Troszkę trudniejsze, ale. Jesteś luzowany? Troszkę? Just take your time. I know I was warmed up. And when I saw this waterfall, I had to conquer it because it was keeping me up at night. No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Tutaj jest łatwiejsze. Mówię, że nie wiem, ale próbujemy. I had a feeling that this trail might beat him up a little bit. I'm sure it did. But this is all part of the fun. You suffer a little bit, and then you get out, and you look back, and you think to yourself, wow, I can't believe I did that. Well, at least that's my definition of fun. I would stand up, yeah. We got Tom over here, Tomek. Daję sobie radę. A ty za! We keep going and I take a quick stop to make sure that he's behind me. But it's silent. Oh no. I either broke something, I don't want to go, you know? It doesn't want to start it? I mean, it starts, but it doesn't, when I raise the clutch, it doesn't do anything. Prawdopodobnie, co my nie wiemy, spaliło się sprzęgło w moim motorze. Jesteśmy w kanionie i musimy teraz z niego jakoś wyjechać. Za nie będzie ciemno. Za nie będzie ciemno, bo tu będzie ciemno. Tam został mój motor. Zrobiło się ekstremalnie w pewnym momencie. Was this a bad idea? Maybe. 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 Co się stało? Motor został na noc w wąwozie. Co? It was my hope that this fire would have good energy. My mind is all over the place, but the bike is in the canyon. And we're gonna pick it up tomorrow. Zdrowie. Za udany powrót. We'll see if I survive the night. Tomorrow, 
We're gonna wake up and try to grab the bike. Day number two, um, mission, uh, what's this mission called? Recovery mission. Re recover, recover Tomek's bike. Do they test? No, it's a new test. Okay, okay, no, no, no. No, just go, okay. <laughs> Well, it's still here, so it's a good sign. All right, I'm gonna scope out that way, see how hard it is. Not every day you run into someone out here, but I ran into Chad and Guy, and I filled them in on what's going on. Scoping it out, seeing if this way would be the right way. So it's, yeah, half a mile either way. <laughs> so it sucks, because we started pulling it the other way yesterday. Right, I'm gonna go back, and we're gonna start towing him out. What's the verdict? Uh, downhill. I think we should go downhill. I think that would make sense. Yep. I've actually pulled Chad up that hill that way. Yeah. Well, it's comforting. So, this one would be tougher. Okay. Uh. Well, good luck. Oh, thanks, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> and so began our strenuous journey back to camp. All the progress over this gnarly terrain down the drain. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot less work going downhill. We got to the waterfall and we both knew there wasn't an easy way to get the bike down. No way. Yeah. Uh, What's up, brother? Oh, that's fine. What's up, dude? Hey, Tom, nice to meet Brian. you. Came in an exciting moment. Oh, yeah, we got the toe strap. Just got to get past this, and then we're golden. Easiest way is right down the fall. Yeah. yeah. Well, serious, if you want to take it down that, instead of trying to take it up and over. Yeah. There's five more guys coming. We can literally just... There definitely was some good energy in that fire. We got some help from some friends. Is that anybody? We're able to get the bike down the waterfall. Awesome, thanks a lot, appreciate you guys. Now that we made it out of the canyon, we had this last hill climb. And my bike just didn't have the juice to pull Tom out. So we rolled it by hand. If you're into adventures and type two fun, make sure to subscribe. Next vid coming up is the adventure I had with Chris and Steve when we went out to Moab. I got lost. I had a bad idea to go out riding and I'm kind of lost. I took a tumble and Chris took a nap. Are you okay, Chris? Chris, Chris. I'm grateful that my journey with Tom ended well and that he didn't kill me in that canyon. We made it back to camp and ended the trip with an awesome story.